Okay, welcome. Today we are going to crochet what I'm calling a prom dress for American Girl doll, or you could also do a wedding dress, or you can call it a ball gown, um, or just a long, fun dress. Um, I also have this purse that matches it, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do that. So if you want to make the matching purse as well, be sure to subscribe because that will be in an upcoming video. So like I said, this dress could be a wedding dress or a prom dress or a ball gown because it goes all the way to her feet and covers them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this project, I'm using the Mainstays 100% um, acrylic yarn, which I got from Walmart. It is a medium weight number four. And I am going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is a size I or a size 9. I'm starting with a slip knot. If you need help doing the slip knot, check out the link in the description below. So after we do our slip stitch that is on our hook, we're going to yarn over and do a chain. So to chain, you yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through, and it creates these V stitches. We are going to chain 41. And I'm not going to make you watch me chain 41, so I will meet you back when I have a chain of 41. Okay, so here is my chain of 41, and this is my foundation chain. Now I'm going to draw a picture to show you what we're going to do for our first row. So here we have a rectangle or a square. This is not exactly to scale, but it's just going to show you um, what we are doing. So we're going to start with this tail end of our crochet work right here and we're going to in the first six stitches well okay this is starting this way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count six stitches and then in this stitch right here will be my seventh I'm gonna put a stitch marker and then I'm gonna follow that around so there's six that's my seventh this is gonna be six this will be my seventh. I'm going to put another stitch marker there. I want it to be symmetrical, so then I'm going to do 12 stitches here. There's another stitch marker here. Six stitches, stitch marker here, six stitches, and then I've chained one right here. That's my 41th stitch because I'm then going to work back the other direction as I chain my work. So this is just a visual picture. I like to plan out my work. Hopefully it doesn't confuse you. Okay, so here I put the stitch markers in. So you can see I am following my pattern around the square of my neck. Here I use the safety pin. So if you don't have stitch markers, these stitch markers are basically just plastic safety pins, but you can use um, a safety pin or whatever you have lying around. Sometimes I use like a bobby pin or if you have special stitch markers, use whatever. Or this step might even be unnecessary. If you prefer just to count, that's fine. I don't like counting, so I like to plan it out ahead and then just make sure that my stitches are complete because if I get over here and then I count and I only have five stitches left then I have to start over. So I just like to do this ahead of time so I know that everything is going to be symmetrical. We did 41 so we're going to start in the second chain from our hook which this is the first chain from our hook. This will be the second one. The part around our hook doesn't count. So we're going to do a half double crochet into the second chain from our hook. So to do that, I'm going to yarn over first, then I'm going to insert my hook into that second chain from the hook. I will yarn over and I will pull out a loop and that gives me three loops on my hook. Then from there, I will yarn over again and pull through all three of those loops. So that was a half double crochet. We're going to do that in every space. So I'll do it again, yarn over go into my space, yarn over, come out, I'll come out, I'll have three loops on my hook, yarn over, and pull through. So we should do that into six stitches until we reach our stitch marker, which will be our seventh. So if you're counting, do six half double crochets. So 
So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then where the stitch marker is, is my seventh. Okay, and then in that seventh stitch, all I'm gonna do is go in there with another half double crochet. Then I'm gonna go ahead and chain one. And then I'm gonna go back into that same stitch. So the one that I just came out of and I will do another half double crochet. And that's gonna create the corner neckline of our dress, okay? So, and then from there, we'll once again do six half double crochets into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. So I'll go ahead and meet you when I'm to my stitch marker. So I've made it there. I'm going to go ahead and remove my stitch marker and I will take it out. And then in that stitch where it was, I will do another half double crochet. And then I will chain one and go back into that exact same stitch and do another half double crochet. Okay, and then this is going to be the long part, the front of our dress right here. So there should be 12 chains right here, and we're just going to do half double crochets into every stitch. So there's one. This will be two. And once again, I won't make you watch me do every single stitch. So I'll go ahead and meet you when I'm to this stitch marker again. So here I am to that stitch marker. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it like I have been doing. Okay, and then into that space, I will do one half double crochet, and then I'm gonna chain one and do a half double crochet back into that same space right here. Okay, and then in the next six um, chains right here, we will do a half double crochet into each of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up. All right, so I've made it to the next stitch marker. I'll go ahead and remove it. And just like I've done every other stitch marker, I'm going to go into that space with a half double crochet and then I will chain one and go back into that same space and do another half double crochet. And then to finish off this first row, we will just do half single crochets into every stitch until we come to the end. So we're going to speed up again. Okay, and here's our last stitch. I'm going to go ahead and go into that and we have completed our first row. Now for our second row, we're gonna chain one and our work is facing this way. Now I'm gonna flip it this way. So now we're working in the opposite direction and we're gonna do half double crochets again. So into that first stitch there. So here's our chain one that we just did. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna yarn over. We're gonna go into the space. We're gonna go through both of those loops, the back and the front, and we will do a half double crochet. So there's one, and then we'll do that all the way across, basically until we come to our chain space right here on the corner. So I will speed this video up until we get to that spot. Okay, so I'm there, and the next stitch right here is where my chain space is. So I'm going to go ahead and go into that space and still do a half double crochet. And then I'm just going to repeat what I did in the previous row. So I've done my half double crochet. I'm going to chain and then I'm going to go back into that same space and do another half double crochet. Okay. And that's going to keep my corners nice and sharp. And then again, we'll do half double crochets into every stitch 
all the way across. Okay, and then again, I've made it to where my chain space is. So where I did that chain in between my half double crochets before. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in this corner. So I'm gonna go in there with a half double crochet. So there's one, and then I will chain one, and then I'm gonna go back into that same space again with a half double crochet. So there's my corners. I'm gonna do half double crochets all the way across here until I come to my chain space again and then I will repeat what I've done in these corners. So do a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet back into that same space and then keep doing half double crochets all the way across until you get to this chain space. Do a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into that space and then finish up the row with half double crochet. So I'm not gonna show you all that because I think you can figure it out on your own. So I'll go ahead and meet you when I am to the end of this row right here. Okay, so this is, I've made it to the end of my second um, row. So now I'm ready to start my third one and I'll do the same thing that I did before. I'm gonna chain one and then I'll flip my work and then I'm gonna do half double crochets into every stitch, so starting with that first one and ignoring that chain one that we just did, okay? So now, just repeating basically what we did for row two with row three, so it's the exact same thing, and do every stitch, do a half double crochet, and then once you get to the corners, we'll do the same thing that we did in the previous two rows as well. So you'll find that space where you did the chain in the previous row. You'll go into it and do a half double crochet. You will chain one and then you'll go back into that same space with another half double crochet and that will create a space right there, right? and that keeps your corners kind of nice and sharp. And then you'll keep continuing along. So we're gonna do half double crochets into every stitch. Once you get to the corner, find your chain space, do a half double crochet and a chain one into it, and then another half double crochet, and then continue with half double crochets all the way around. So that's gonna be all we're gonna do for round round. Oh, we're not technically doing rounds, we're doing rows. So this will be row three. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you now when I am finished with my row three. Okay, so here we are almost to the end of this row. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go into this last stitch right here and just complete my half double crochet. And now I'm ready to chain one again. Boom. And then I'm gonna flip my work. Here's how our neckline is looking so far. It's looking good. Um, so I flipped my work and now we're ready to begin our next row. So I'm gonna yarn over and we're gonna do half double crochets all the way along until we get to this chain space over here. So. Just half double crochets into every stitch. So you should have done six half double crochets and then you should run into your chain space. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a half double crochet into that chain space. Whoops, except for it popped out. So I'm gonna go in there half double crochet into my chain space. And then just like I have from the previous rounds, I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm gonna go back into that chain space and finish up with a half double crochet. So that's just the same as it has every other round. Now here's where it's gonna start to vary. This is gonna be, we're gonna fold this over and this will be our sleeve or armhole right here. So we're gonna make this decorative edge along 
um, the top of our shoulder, if you will. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and chain three. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to go into this first stitch right here and just do a slip stitch. To do a slip stitch, I'm going to yarn over and then I'll come out and I'll pull through everything. Okay, so that was a chain three. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to chain three again and go one, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the next space and do a slip stitch. So I will pull through all those loops. I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. Go into the space and do a slip stitch. So you can see it's kind of creating that little ruffle that we want on our sleeve. And we're just going to do that all the way across on this end. So there was three, maybe. I'm not very good at counting, so I'm just going to go ahead and start over. Um, one, two, three. Then go in the stitch with a slip stitch. Chain three again. One, two, three. So that's all we're doing is chaining three, going into the next stitch, slip stitching, and then chaining three again. One, two, three. All right, so there is our last slip stitch. And then this next space right here is where we have our chain space on the corner. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into that with a half double crochet. And then we'll chain one. And then we'll go back into that stitch with a half double crochet. Okay, and now this right here is gonna be the front of our dress again. So we have this little ruffle on the edge and that's going to be our sleeve and here we just want this part to be flat so we're going to go back to just doing regular half double crochets along this front edge okay so once i've done those all the way across the front edge then I'll meet up at my corner again where I have my chain space so I'll go into that chain space you guessed it with a half double crochet and then I will chain one and then do a half double crochet back into that same space right okay and then we're gonna do the same thing that we did over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain three. So one, two, three. And then I'm gonna go into that first space right here and do a slip stitch. So it's the same thing that we did on the other side. Chain three, one, two, three. Go into the next space and do a slip stitch. Okay, so do that all the way across until you get to this chain space. Okay, so I finished up with a slip stitch in that last stitch right before my chain space. So then I'm just gonna go into that chain space with that double crochet and then I will chain one and then I'm going back into that same space right here and finishing up with a half double crochet. Right, so that's still keeping our corner and then We'll just finish off the end of this row with half double crochet stitches. And I will just speed it up here so we can get to the end quick. Okay, so here is our last stitch of this row. Boom. This is going to be the neckline. This is going to be the sleeves, right? So the next um, row that we're going to do is going to be connecting these sleeves. So to begin that row, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and then turn my work. And we're going to do the same thing that we've done in the previous rows is we'll just do half double crochets 
all the way across until we get to our chain space right here. So I'll meet you there. Okay, so once I'm there, here, see right here, this next one is my chain space. I'm not going to go into that this time because we're going to connect our sleeves together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm going to skip all this and come all the way over here and find where my chain space is. Okay. So this is where, this is part of my ruffle. This is gonna be my chain space. So I didn't go into it on this side. I'm not gonna go on to it on this side. So I'm gonna find the next stitch after my chain space. And I'm gonna keep my yarn all tight and I'm gonna yarn over and we're just gonna do a half double crochet just into that space right after that corner chain space. Okay, like that. And I want to keep, as I do that, I want to keep this chain from not twisting. Okay, and that looks like a pretty good sized armhole. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a doll and see if it's what we want. All right, so here's an American Girl doll. This is Julie. She says hi. We're going to quickly throw this dress, the top of this on to see if it fits her. So I'm going to kind of pull that out so it doesn't come undone. You could put a stitch marker in there if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do this quick so hopefully it won't come undone. Just going to adjust before I continue on and make sure it's fitting the way I want to, make sure her arm goes inside of it, um, it's loose enough. I also think it's tight enough. I like the way it fits, so I'm going to continue onward. If you wanted it to be smaller or wider, you could like, if you want it to be tighter, chain three instead. If you want it to be wider, chain five instead. So I like to try on my work at this point, just so I make sure it fits the way I want it to before continuing onward. So, so across this front, we're going to do just half double crochets into every stitch which I'm sure you have lots of practice at now and you don't need to watch me do it so I will meet you when I'm over to this corner over here. Okay so I've made it across the front. I did 16 half double crochets and then I've come to the place where my corner and my chain spaces are again right so I'm finding that spot and then I'm gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I'm skipping all of this and I'm coming over here. I'm skipping my chain space, right? And then I'm finding the very next stitch and going to attach it there. So just like we did on the other side, I'm going to have six half double crochets right there. So I want to have six half double crochets right here on this side. So that space after my chain space, right? So these are where my corners are all coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and go in that one right there you see has a space. So I'm going to go into this one right here. I've yarned over first and then I'm just doing a half double crochet to finish off this edge. And what we're hoping for is even armholes. So you could again try it on your doll and make sure they fit, make sure you're symmetrical. And then go ahead and just finish up the end here with half double crochets all the way across. And once I'm to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and I'll flip my work and this is the top of my dress. Now we're ready to begin the next part. So for this part, I'm just going to do single crochets into every stitch. So I'm going to skip that chain one I did and to do a single crochet, you just go into your stitch, you yarn over, you come out, you have two hoops on your hook, you yarn over again and you pull through those two. So again, a single crochet, insert your hook, 
yarn over, come out two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and then once you get to the part where you have a chain across for your armhole, just go into one of those stitches, just like you did at the beginning with your foundation chain. So go into the top loop only. Across there. And then once you get to the end, go ahead and go back to doing through both loops. So the top loop and the back loop or the front and the back loop. Just single crochets. Uh, make sure you go through the top loop and the back loop. Yep, so just single crochets for this row all the way across the front. Once you get to this chain, do the same thing, and I will meet you when I am to the end of this row. Alright, so once you've made it to the end of the row, I'll just finish up this last single crochet here. And then we're going to go ahead and flip our work and then just do rows of single crochets again. And this is going to make the waistband of our dress. So that's what it looks like so far. We're working this direction. Um, so single crochets, I'm not chaining one here because these are single crochets instead of half double crochets. So you can just go ahead and go into that first stitch with a single crochet and then just do that all the way across. So this previous row was single crochets. We're going to do this row single crochets and we're going to do the next row single crochets. So we should have three rows of single crochets. So I will go ahead and meet you when we are finished with those rows. I'll meet you at that point. So once you have your three rows of single crochets, we are now going to start a row of what I'm going to call fan stitches. So I'm going to chain two at the end of this row, one, two, and then I'm going to go back into that same stitch with a double crochet. So here I go. Okay, and then I'm going to skip one stitch and go into this next stitch with a double crochet. And here's where we're going to create our fan stitch. So there's one double crochet. I'm going to go back into that same stitch with another double crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going back into that same stitch again with a double crochet. So this can be called a fan stitch. Some people call it a shell stitch. You can call it whatever you want, but basically what we're doing is two double crochet and then a chain one and two double crochet all into the same stitch. Okay, so we've done that once. We've started over here with basically two double crochets. We've skipped a stitch. So there's our fan stitch. Okay. Now we're skipping a stitch and we're going to do that again. So into this next stitch, we will do two double crochets. Oh, and I don't think that I showed you how to do a double crochet. So I will show you now. So we've chained one after those two. And what a double crochet is, is you yarn over, you go into a stitch, you yarn over, and then you pull that thread out. And you'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, just pull through two, and then yarn over again and pull through those last two. So we'll do that again. Yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so there's another fan stitch. We're going to skip a stitch here and we'll do it again. So go in with a double crochet, double crochet again into that same stitch. Remember, chain one and 
knit up that same stitch with two more double crochet. So we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way across, creating fan stitches in every stitch. So I'll meet you when I am finished up. Okay, so here I've gone all the way around with my fan or shell stitches and I'm almost to the end so I'm just going to finish up here. So I've done a fan stitch right here and then I have one, two, three stitches left. If you have a different amount, that's okay. We can make it work. Um, so what I'm going to do is finish off this last fan but that also connects right here so there's actually going to be a space in here and if you had two spaces that's fine just go to the last one um, or if you had four probably just do one more fan stitch and then you'll have two spaces so I'm going to go ahead and go into this space right here and I'll just do two double crochet so there's one And then there's two, and then I'm gonna go to the top of this right here. So this is where I've chained when I started my previous, this round. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do a slip stitch. So I'm going into that stitch and stitching it together. And that's how I'm gonna connect this part of the dress. And that will give it enough room that it will slide on and off. Um, or you could even overlap it if you want and then do the button or velcro um, So there's how we connect Okay, and then once you've got it connected we're ready to start our next round so to do that I'm going to go ahead and chain two and then I'm going to double crochet into this space where we've just connected everything so I'm going around everything and just doing a double crochet there Okay, and then I'm going to do that again, so I didn't chain, I just went with a double crochet, so now I have three double crochet over that space, and then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to go back into that same space and do a double crochet again, so I'm going to repeat that double crochet three times, so it's just going to be a bigger shell than the previous row, right? So last ones we did fan or shell stitches that consisted of two double crochet, then a chain, and then two more double crochet. So this round is going to be that same thing except we're going to do three double crochet. So I have that into that connecting space. Okay, and then I'm going to find where that chain space in the next one was, and I'm going to go right in there with a double crochet and just repeat what we did previous. So there's one, two, and three, then chain one, then go back into that same space. with three double crochet and that's all we're going to do all the way around um, so I'm going to do a couple stitches of that and then I'll show you what it looks like just so you know okay so here's what it looks like after a few more stitches and it's starting to fan out and creating that ball gown look that we want um, big and puffy so that's all this round is going to be is remember three double crochets, a chain, and then three double crochets all into the same stitch. And those are all going in into the top of the previous stitch where we did that chain space. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up all the way around. And then our next rows will just be repeating that, but I will meet you um, when I am here to show you how to connect. Okay, so here I've made it all the way around and I'm going to go ahead and find the top of that chain that we did to start this round and I'm just going to slip the stitch into it 
to connect, okay? And then that's completed that round. And as you can see, it's doing what we want it to do. It's puffing out and being all flowy. Um, and then to start our next round, so we've at the top of this one, I'm just gonna slip stitch and work my way until I'm to the center spot. So I'll go into right here and do a slip stitch. And then I can go ahead and start just like I did from the previous row as I will chain two or three, whatever you prefer, and then go into that same stitch with a double crochet. And then we'll do one more, we'll chain one, and then you're just repeating what you have done from the previous row. So just um, three double crochets into this chain space right here, chain one, and then three double crochets back into that, and you'll repeat that for as many rows as you want till you get the desired length of your dress. Okay, so this is what my skirt looks like after I have done 13 rounds on the skirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this round, just like I have every other round, I will find the top stitch there of that chain where I started and I'll just do a slip stitch to finish. And I'm gonna change colors here. So I'm gonna grab my scissors. Okay, and well, I'll snip this off. And then before I change colors, I'll show you what it looks like on a doll. So I am going to go ahead and stick a stitch marker in here for right now so that doesn't come undone. Okay, and here's what it looks like on Julie. So as you can see, it's almost to her feet. There's probably about an inch there or two. So make it the length you want. I wanted it to be a ball gown that's touching the floor, so that's why I did so many rows. Um, and then I'm going to change colors to finish off the end, but you could keep the same color if you wanted to. Okay, so here I am going with, this is Dollar Tree yarn, and it's the color yellow purple. Sorry, not yellow, royal purple. Um, and I'm trying to go for, it's not quite the same color as this shade of my multicolored yarn, but that's, I think it's close enough. So I'm going to do a decorative um, stitch or just trim around before I finish off my work. So all I'm gonna do to attach it is I will just pull it through and then pull it tight. Okay, and then for this round to begin, I'm gonna chain two, so there's one, two. And then all this round is gonna be is double crochets. So. I've attached it right here, and then I'll go into the next stitch right here and do a double crochet. Move my yarn to this side, sorry. Okay, so do a double crochet. And that's what we're going to do in every single stitch. So on top of those previous double crochets that we've done in the previous round, just do double crochets and then even when there is a space so in that chain space do a double crochet as well and as I'm doing this I'm just working in my tail end as I go along to hide it uh, so you can't really see it under there okay and then I'll go into the next one and that's all this round like I said is is double crochets into every stitch and I think you could have weaved or hid this tail end as you went along but I didn't do that so I'll have to do it later. Okay so I've made it all the way around we just did double crochets into every stitch um, and then here I've made it to the end I'm gonna go into the top of that first double crochet I did and do a slip stitch okay so there's that and now I'm gonna switch colors again so I'll snip that off and I'm going to be using 
Once again, Dollar Tree yarn. This one is called Purple. And I am hoping that it matches. I want it to match this from, it's not quite, it's a little bit darker, um, but I'm going to go ahead and try it and see what it looks like. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach that color just like I have before. So I don't want a huge tail end, so just enough so it's not going to come undone. I'm going to pull it through and then pull those to tight. Now I'm going to do a single crochet. So this is where our stitches are connecting. I'm just going to go around those and do a single crochet. So now for sure nothing's going to come undone and then I will weave in these ends later. Now I'm going to go ahead and chain three, two, and three okay and then i'm going to skip three stitches one two three and right here i'm going to go in and just do a single crochet and then i'm just going to repeat that all the way around so go one two three skip three stitches one two three go into that fourth stitch right here and just do a single crochet okay and then chain three again. One, two, three. Skip one, two, three. Right here, we will do a single crochet. So I'll meet you when I have that finish. Okay, and as you make your way around, if you have the right amount of stitches, great, wonderful. Just finish up um, here if I skipped one, two, three, I would end up here and that's going to look funny. So what I'm going to do is just skip two. So one, two, and then I'll end up right here. And then I'll go ahead and just chain three again. One, two, three. And then actually what I'm doing is skipping two again. So I'll just finish off in the top of that first single crochet we did with a slip stitch right there. Okay, and that's not even going to be noticeable, hopefully. Okay, so now to begin my next round, I'm going to go ahead and chain two, one, two, and then in this chain space right here of three, I'm going to do double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four. Of course, that's four after that um, chain right there. five and six okay so that would be a total if we're counting this one of seven um double crochets now i'm going to go ahead and go into this space right here and all i'm going to do is a single crochet to that space and that's going to give this a little fan going on. And then we'll jump right back in to this next one. So we'll do the same thing. We will do seven half double crochets in here. Sorry, not half double crochets, just double crochets. I guess you could do half double crochets if you wanted. Um, but just seven. And then once you get to this space, do a single crochet again. So I'll do a couple of those to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's what it looks like after it has a few of those. So then once you get to here, just go ahead and do a single crochet right there in that loop and then start on the next one and then just repeat that pattern all the way around. I'll meet you when we're over here. Okay, so here I am 
almost to the end. I have this space left. I have completed seven double crochets. So what I'm going to do is that single crochet into here. But before I complete it, so I've almost, I've just done a single crochet around there. And then I'm going to grab the top of the chain of that first chain that I did. I'm going to go in that, not in the space, but in the chain space, which I'm struggling to do. Okay, right there. And then I will complete that single crochet so it's all pulled together and tight. Okay, and now I'm ready to begin my next round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one right here. And then, actually I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to go, so that is coming from that first chain that we did. Okay, and then, so that's my chain two. I'm going to do pico stitches, so that'll count as a double crochet. So now from there I'm going to chain three. So I have a total of a chain of five here, okay. So here's one, two, and going back to the third stitch, and I'm going to flip it around and go in from the back side and just finish off with a slip stitch. So that's a pico. Okay, and then I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go back in here with a, another double crochet like so. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. Okay, and then on the back side of that chain, so I'm flipping it, I will just do a slip stitch. And then I'll begin my next double crochet. So that's all we're doing is we're doing double crochets with pico stitches on top of them that are on top of our double crochets from the previous round. So here we'll chain three again, one, two, three. I'm flipping my work over and I'm going into from the back loop and then just doing a slip stitch. And then I'm kind of turning my work back this direction and Finishing it up. Okay, and I'll just keep doing the same thing. One, two, three. Flip my work, go from the back, slip stitch right there, and then go to my next double crochet. And that's creating like this decorative lace, if you want to call it, stitch. So we'll do that all the way across um, until you get to here and all you're going to do is single crochet right there. So I'll hurry and get there. Okay, so you can see that I've done a um, double crochets with my pico stitches on every stitch. So I have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then I've done this pico stitch right here. And what I'm going to do is in between these shell or fan stitches, I'm going to do a single crochet around all this. right there. So I still have that pico stitch. Okay, and then I can go ahead and I will chain two from here and then I will start, that will count as my first double crochet coming from here. So then I will do three more, one, two, three. So what it really is is just chain of five, right? And then I will flip over and go in the one, two, third stitch right there, which is not that one, it's this one. 
and there we go, we got it. And complete that Pico, and then we'll go ahead and go into the stitch right here. And then we'll just keep on repeating that. I actually don't like it. All right, so once I have that connected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a single crochet around this whole thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna jump over here. So this is a chain, but it's gonna count as our double crochet. So I'm gonna go in there with a double crochet. So just on top of that chain that we did, we'll do a double crochet. Okay, and now I'm gonna do a pico stitch. So to do a pico stitch, I'm gonna chain three. So there's one, two, three, and now I'm gonna find the back of that chain. So the first chain, the back of it, you can see, I hope you can see that. I'm going into it, and then I'm just gonna do a slip stitch. Some people do single crochets, you can do picos however you want. Um, whatever method you like. Okay, so I finished up that pico and then I'm going to go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. Okay, and then I'll show you the pico again. So chain three, one, two, three, okay, and then in order to make it have that pico you go into the back loop of that back chain so i just turn my work like so and then yarn over and pull through everything and then i'm ready to begin my next double crochet so that's what we're doing on top of every double crochet right here so chain three again one two Three, and you don't want to go from this side you want to go from the back so I turn it a little bit and then I go in there and then I just complete my slip stitch okay and then I'm ready to begin the next double crochet so I'm gonna do that on top of all of these Um, double crochets and it's gonna create this like lace pico stitch so I'll show you what to do once I get to right here so give me a minute to get there okay so I've done a few more stitches um, just for time's sake so you don't have to watch me do it but I have one two three four five six pico stitches and then I've done a double crochet to finish it off. So these are my seven crochets from the previous round. So right here I'm on top of that seventh one but I'm only going to do six pico stitches. So now to finish this off I'm going to go through that loop and just do a single crochet. And then I will go ahead and start just like I have the other ones. I'll go ahead and do a double crochet into that first stitch. And then after I do that double crochet, I'll do a pico stitch. I'll do six of them. And then I will do that single crochet in these spaces. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you don't like how this looks or if the pico stitch is too, if you don't, get it um you don't have to do this part like the dress like this up to this point I think looks fantastic and you should be proud that you have made it this far so this is totally optional but give it a try if you want all right so here is my bottom ruffle all finished so now all I have to do is tie in the ends and finish up the top um, so all I do to tie in the ends is I usually just take a darning needle. Um, this one's a little small. Let me find a bigger one. Alright, this one's better. Um, and then I will twist the end so I can thread it easily. 
And then I just weave in back and forth to hide those threads in between. And I usually go one direction and then I will go the other direction and then one more time back the other direction and then I can go ahead and cut off my ends um, right here because I've gone back and forth so it won't come undone. All right, and here she is all finished. Um, the lace, I have her on a, um, a thing so she can spin around, but as you can see, um, it hits her toes and then just barely touches the floor, which is what I wanted, so it gives her that ball gown look. Um, I like the, the top right here. Um, pulls off just off of her shoulders, but if you wanted to be more tighter, you could take um, and do like a single crochet around the top and then also finish up the back that way as well and make like buttons and buttonholes or you can do a velcro um, Just glue velcro on the back. Um, so there's multiple ways to finish up the back I'm not going to show you in this video because I feel like you already know and then it will make this video extra long but maybe in a future video I will show you um, options on how to finish up the back of dresses. Okay, and here she is one more time with her purse. So if you're interested in making this purse that matches, um, it, it could match any dress. It doesn't have to specifically match this one, but be sure to subscribe so you don't miss when that video comes out. I hope your dress turned out and... Thanks so much for watching, guys.